Gold Squad TV. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna really just call for what it is, man. Um, I don't think the Lakers are gonna win the title this year, man. I think they'll get to the finals. I think the Lakers, and I'm just giving my honest assessment on the Los Angeles Lakers. I think this roster is constructed very uneven compared to last year. I thought last year's roster kind of made sense. You had JaVale McGee, Dwight Howard, Rondo, Contavious, on Pope, Kuzma, um, Dwight Howard, um, Anthony Davis, LeBron, Caruso. I thought that lineup, although they weren't the best scoring lineup, made the most sense for what LeBron's skill set was and what AD's skill set was. Also, they had Barkeith Morris as well. Um, this year they have Morris, Caruso still. Pope still, but now they got Dennis Schroeder, who doesn't really seem to be a fit at point guard for them, which is why I wasn't surprised when he refused to resign. I think he, I don't think he wants to play there. I think he wants to go somewhere where he can shine. Schroeder's one of those guys that he's a tricky point guard because, in his mind, I think he thinks he's a starting point guard and somebody better than a starting point guard in his league, but. The reality is he's not really you know, he's a backup point guard at best. But um I don't think I don't think um I don't think this roster kind of fits what LeBron's trying to do. They got Drummond now, they got Wes Matthews, um obviously they still got Caruso, got Kuzma. But Kuzma seems to always get hurt now. And you know, they, they don't really have a lot of the the size. I mean, Drummond's cool, but he's not known for being a defender. They don't really have the size and the defense they had off the bench last year. Like, Drummond's going to be coming off the bench the minute the minute um, Anthony Davis comes back, or he's going to start. They also got Macklemore as well, not the rapper. Um. But I just think when LeBron comes back, yeah, they'll be good enough to get to the finals. But I think they're going to lose against Brooklyn, man. I mean, I just don't see how they beat Brooklyn. Brooklyn's just, to be quite honest with you, the way Brooklyn's built, I can see them beating the Lakers 4-1. Unless Kevin Durant gets hurt, and even if Durant gets hurt, he's still got to deal with Harden, still got to deal with Kyrie. Got to deal with Lamarcus Aldridge. You still got to deal with, you know, you still got to deal with Joe Harris. You still got to deal with, you know, they have Blake Griffin. I mean, there's so many weapons on that team. That team is an all star team. You still got DeAndre Jordan. You know, they have a lot of guys on that team to where I feel like they're just too deep. They're too deep for LA. And I, I have no doubt to my mind if Durant's healthy. He's going to want to outplay LeBron James on the biggest stage. He's going to want to outplay, you know, Davis is going to want to outplay LaMarcus Aldridge. But they have so much depth, man. It's just, they're not even, bro. Like, the Lakers really only got two really good play. The Lakers have two all-stars, and everybody else is just role players. The, the, the Nets have, like, five all-stars. You know, unless one of those dudes, unless a couple of those dudes get hurt in crucial moments, I just don't see how the Lakers can beat Brooklyn. Just don't. I do think they'll get by Denver. I do think they'll get by Utah or Phoenix. Um, the Clippers, I'm kind of like, I think that'll be a seven-game series. But ultimately, I think they'll win. But I think after that, I think it's pretty much a foregone conclusion. Brooklyn wins the four games and one. Their roster looks like it rivals that Golden State roster that Durant just left. You got Harden, Kyrie, himself, DeAndre Jordan, Lamarcus Aldridge. You have so many weapons on that team. Blake Griffin. And they don't even, the thing is, on regular teams, Blake Griffin, 
you know, Blake Griffin and those guys would just be like regular. They would be, you know, they wouldn't be really much of threats. But now they're being put in positions to where they're threats and they don't have to play a lot of minutes. You know, you take one all star out and you got to put a new all star in. So it'll be interesting to see. But I don't see the Los Angeles Lakers winning the title this year. I think they'll get there. I don't think they'll win it. Gold Squad TV, leave your comments down below.